Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to a new season of Transport Fever. We're going to be starting up a new map, and I have a couple of mods that I want added. So, at this first episode, I'm going to go quickly through the amount of mods that I have and what exactly they do. Now, we have airport road connections. This is pretty much what it says. Enables multiple road connections on all three in-game airports. Especially handy if you want to have an airport encapsulated inside a town. Bigger freight stations. Um, or bigger train stations in general, and these are really, really big. I have used this mod in the previous seasons as well, and you can have a lot of tracks, as you can see on the picture, but also a lot of length on your tracks, which will speed up loading and unloading of passengers. Boat projects, uh, a couple of new vehicles. We have the cargo container station. This is a new freight station for the trains. The concrete bridge for high-speed railway lines. This will allow them to actually speed up all the way to maximum speed. Curved train stations. This is a new one. And from what I've seen on the pictures, you can have round train stations. So that's going to be interesting. The Havilland DHC-7. The Utah or UT Air are German V90 trains. High-capacity road stations. Used these in the past. Um, still a bit of hit and miss or trial seeing exactly how to use those we have the ice this is the new train left right harbor means you can align the harbor entrance either on the left or the right side which especially on narrow rivers makes it easier to deploy a shipping harbor netherlands eurofoil another ship we have a new hub airport this is one that i have used in the previous playthroughs uh, no scripts is offline or sorry, no costs. We have the Lusitania. I'm still not really sure when to use this thing. Simply because it is so big that it has a capacity that I don't think will ever be needing. Simmons Velero, new train. Uh, the SNCF, which is another new train. This is the map that I'm going to be playing. This is the Rust Belt, suggested by one of you. Time progression, four times slower. Track design patterns, so you can have all sorts of fancy tracks leading away from those larger train stations that I showed you previous. We have the ultimate station. Um, actually, this is the one that allows you to have round tracks. This is going to be a really interesting mod. Vegetation increase to have a little bit more trees on the map. No end year is disabled. More airlines and the XL tram station that I deployed at some point. So... We have a United States scenario, because the Rust Belt is in the US. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to set it up as, uh, let's go hard. And 1950s is good enough. All right, let's start it up. OK, welcome to the map. This is the Rust Belt. The Rust Belt, let me see if I can get a slightly better angle on it, is a really large map. It is much flatter than the previous one, and this should make it quite a bit easier to get going, because initially transporting all that stuff took quite a while. Now, the Rust Belt is an area spanning several states in the US. We have New York as one of the states, and of course as uh, one of the cities here, New York City. It's not that big yet, 95 people there. It spans across Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Indiana, uh, a bit of Michigan, and Illinois. And I already saw, I think it was Chicago somewhere. Yep, here it is, Chicago. So quite a few familiar names here. Now, this is a map that has quite a bit of industry on it as well. And there are, as far as I can tell in this short amount of time, quite a few lucrative opportunities here on this map. Now before I get into that, I want to uh, invite you to be a part of this series. Um, that might sound a little curious, but here's the thing. What I want to do is have your name in the game. And you can do that by becoming a Patreon, or a Patreon supporter. Here's the thing. Um, there's two options that I have. You can either have your username as a line name, or you can dictate what you want a line to be called. Or you can have a city named after you. Now, of course, uh, we have quite a few cities on here, but they are limited. I cannot build any new cities. So as far as the cities go, uh, you can say, well, you know what? Uh, Pittsburgh, nice name and everything, but I want it to be called after me. 
That's possible by becoming a patron. You can do that through the link in the description. Of course, this first episode I'm recording before you have that opportunity, so any changes will be made on episode 2 and moving forward. Now, lots and lots and lots of territory here. Lots of options. Let's see what I can do with my 12 million without going bankrupt. I think that connecting New York City, Scranton, Philadelphia could be an option. Uh, what do I have for options? Ah, that's the new train stations. Alright, well I'll look into that in a minute. I'm thinking of going buses early on. Especially because New York City is such a small town. Now ideally, I want to have one enormous town. And these towns, as nice as they are, don't really qualify. Because they don't have a lot of room on the map. And I'm thinking that maybe Columbus with quite a lot of open area around it could be host to uh, both a train station for freight and a train station for passengers and we can start feeding more and more stuff into Columbus to see how big exactly that city can go and of course um, it's called Columbus now but that could be changing sometime in the future now if I go for Columbus I want to have uh, this town meet all of its needs. So shopping facilities as well as industry and yes, of course, population or line usage as well. How about fuel and food? Those are generally the easiest ones to provide. Uh, we have a refinery up here. Is there any way I can get fuel over there easily? Not really. How about food? This is the farm. And there are no food production capabilities anywhere. Okay, so that's not ideal. There's another... Ah! Maybe one of these towns would be better. So we can have this farm supply this food facility, food processing plant, and then provide it to South Bend and Grand Rapids probably. So I can set up two loops there. That could be a nice way to kick things off. As for the next part, let's see, we have Lafayette, Indianapolis. How about Indianapolis? I could link it up to Cincinnati and Lafayette and have a nice quick transport route easily set up. The thing is, there's not too much industry nearby. There's food, and there's a farm over there, but the road right now is, well, not the shortest one. Let's just put it that way. I could build a bridge, but it's going to take a while. What other options do we have? St. Louis definitely has plenty of processing facility, and this is actually really good. Because if I can send either planks or steel this way, and let's get, let's say steel and plastic, I can have. Um, well, actually, I would need planks. I can have St. Louis be a sort of production capital, if I can get stuff there easily, which does not seem to be the case. We have a sawmill over there. Any trees anywhere? Lumber mills? No lumber mills. Roger. Okay. Where the hell are the lumber mills? So there's plenty of oil in this ridge, as well as stone and construction material. But I'm just not seeing any lumber. Huh. Am I just completely overlooking those? Or are they not on the map? Because if they're not on the map, that would be a problem. Okay, Buffalo, Burlington, Green Bay, Nashville. Nashville to St. Louis is an option. Toronto, all the way up there. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to focus on Indianapolis. 
I want to have two train stations there. One which is a passenger train station and one which is simply a freight station. And that way I can continue to grow Indianapolis pretty quickly. So, let's see about those train stations. Freight first. Apparently I do not have access to that new one just yet. Uh, number of tracks. Make that six. Length. 200 meters. And uh, I want a second street connection. I want it to be high speed. Future investments mostly. I could have these two be aligned. So I could have one after the other. Or split them out. Hmm. The line Lafayette, Indianapolis, uh, Cincinnati would be ideal. So train stations there, there, and there. And then freight on this end. Okay, generic station, progressive counter curvature station. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of options here. Radius A. Radius B. So far nothing's changing. Width. Ah, okay. So it's just one track so far. 20 tracks? Uh-huh. What the hell are transit tracks? Ah, okay. So by having transit tracks, we can have this station not only have a couple of tracks where passengers can board, which is currently three, if I'm not mistaken. No, four. And then we have one, two, three, four transit tracks, which are tracks that are used to actually, as the name indicates, transit. So not actually move to the station, but through the station. Uh, not even sure what position is. Platform, height, width, rightmost platform, roof length. Okay, nice. I like that. Platform variations. <sighs> Holy crap, we have options. Uh, main entry, extra large. Ah, so the building gets larger. Okay. Fences. Yep, now we have fences around the station. Fence style, fence color. What is this? The Sims? Jesus, somebody put a lot of work into this mod. Well done to them. Okay, let's say that I want to have Indianapolis as the core of this network. Um, it's going to go here. I want to have, let's say, a west-east line. Maybe north-south, maybe to Louisville and going north, <laughs> north to South Bend. Makes no sense, but whatever. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot. Plunk it down. Okay, connect it up. Come on. Let's make sure everything's connected here. What do you mean construction is not possible? least connect these two then? Yeah. Not there. Uh, this is not too bad because we can pretty much dictate how I want this city to grow. There. Now for the train. I'm going to go to Lafayette and then over here. 
That's going to be that line here. Because we have these two, one there and one there. And a couple of just through tracks, if that's a thing. It's a pretty short hop for a train, but I imagine that these towns will be growing eventually. I'm going to park the other train station up here and try to connect it to Columbus. Right, this one's going to be a standard train station. Let's go with two lines, or two tracks, I think that would be enough. At least for the moment. Um, you're going to go there, and... This is going to be one intricate network. One very intricate network. I'm going to park a couple of tracks down here just to make sure that the AI doesn't start fighting me and start building through or around this train station. here and set up a cross from here to there and curve go okay um, I want them to be moving on this side of the tracks Eventually, you're going to have to go back to this line here on the left. And just for future reference... Come on, you can fit somewhere. There you go. Okay, set up the line. Starting in Indianapolis, heading there, check it. Yeah, it works. Okay, so this is Indianapolis to Cincinnati. Double N. And yes, of course, I'll be connecting that to Lafayette as well. Now, Lafayette is probably for now going to be the end, because otherwise I'd need to build a bridge, which tends to cut into my budget quite a lot. Let's check if this train, uh, train station can be connected easily. Ideally, I'd not have a bus yet. Ah, that doesn't work. Cincinnati is currently too large not to have a bus or a tram line. So let's just go with the bus line. Um, here. Does that cover everything? Yeah, it does for now. They'll just have to walk. Okay, start. Second station. Third. Fourth. Done. So that is Cincinnati bus. We're going to throw in a bus there. And we're going to park this depot halfway to make sure that we have bus uh, buses going to either side. I want you on... What? Why can you not go on that line? That's weird. This is a road depot. Ah, oh, there you go. Did I overlook it or something? Whatever. Um, setting up a depot for the trains. Can we do that here? Probably not. Let's set it up here. And we're going to have this train 
Yeah, okay, that'll work. Okay, what do we have available? That's not too expensive. Probably our trusted smaller trains. Yeah, let's say a couple of M300s. Gas-powered, self-propelled passenger cars. 13 people on board, top speed 100. Running costs about 330k together. All right, I want both of you to go on the Indianapolis-Cincinnati line. Now, as for this part, I still need to find a way to connect these two. There you go. It's not the most ideal solution, but for the moment it works. I'm not sure if that exactly covers the train. This will. Bingo. Not bad. Okay, rest of Indianapolis. Let's connect it up. This town may be small now, but that is not going to be the case for too much longer. Okay, so this is the Indianapolis bus. And we're going to throw... Oh, is that the bus? Yeah, it's the bus. We're going to throw a twin coach on there. Indianapolis bus. Good man. Next, Lafayette. Can we position a train station in a reasonable position here? Second street connection, yes. High speed, yes. Uh, make it... No, that's a bit much. Make it 160 meters. For the moment, I'm parking it slightly outside of town, because I'm hoping that this is going to grow. Now, how much is it if I'm going to build a bridge here? Almost half a million. That's just going one way. Okay. That is more than half a million. Okay, so for now, I'm going to not do that. We're gonna go there. Grab it, connect it, move it. And I want you to connect it there and here. Okay, throw on the signaling. That should do. Now, across at the end here. Oh, come on. Do me a favor. Is that because the line is curved? Does this help? Yeah, that helps. Okay, fixed. Now, adjust that train station, or that train line. Because the first stop is now that one. Ah, oh, fuck it. Remove all stations. Yes. One, two, three, four. So technically this is now starting in Lafayette. There you go. Do the trains know what's up? Yes, they do. Okay, let's run it. I still have 8.4 million left, so I should be okay for finances for a while. We just need to fix up Lafayette and make sure that we have enough of a connection there to actually get the passengers to where they need to be. Block off that road. Fine, I'll remove a house. And I want you to start building another building block somewhere down the middle. Bus tram station, extra stops. Okay, this is Lafayette, starting here, going there, there, and there. 
Lafayette boss. I hope this boss can get there. It can. Lafayette boss. Off you go. Alright, speed it to fast. Now, as for food. Is there anywhere I can park that? Also, I want to have a sort of a bridge go over these tracks. So that hopefully... Fuck. <laughs> hopefully the train is going to expand like... Or the, the whole town is going to expand like that. bit high. Now I'm going to go back down here. And I'm going to connect it up to this part. Yeah, that's not working. Would a tunnel be better? Yes, I know I'm throwing money away in case you're shouting at the keyboard. What the fuck are you doing? tunnel under here? We can. Sort of. Now I want to go up. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, I completely fucked that up. See if it's still salvageable. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> Can we salvage it here? We might. How's the line usage? 29%. It's not too bad. Here? 31%. I like it. Okay, how are the trains? Hold on, why are you waiting forever? Why are you waiting forever? Where are you going? You're going to Indianapolis. So any particular re- ah. Some point... Yeah, there we go. At some point these guys are switching tracks when they shouldn't. I think that might have to do with that point. Um, if I set up a waypoint, would that help you at all? So after Cincinnati, I want you to hit that waypoint. And at that point, the train just completely freaks out. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so that's not working. If I delete this, would that help you with your decision making? No! So that was a bit much. Whoa! Just click it like that. Okay, over here everything seems to be going okay. And then... This happens. How are we for signals here? We don't have any. Mm -hmm. No, that's not right. We do. We do have signals. So what's gotten in your head, and why do you think that you need to go to that one spot? Why are you using just that one line? Or one track? Is it this? Nope. Play it like that, and the game just completely decides to go AWOL on me. Um... No, 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 we're not going to destroy it. Terminals. Switch to Terminal 2. Show me the lines again. See, at this point, it should switch that track. Should. 
So that's after hitting Cincinnati. Add. There. And then it just panics. For no reason whatsoever. Aha! Yeah, this is the first thing that I've encountered. This is a transit track. I need to tell it to go here. That right there is my problem. I need to tell it to head to a track or to a uh, station. And that is not what it's doing. So we're going to have a sort of massive sorting place down here. It's going to have to cut across several tracks in order to do that. Oh, come on. Colliding with what? Signals? There. Is that better? Okay. Now I need to do the same thing all over again on the other end. I'm sure that sooner, or actually later, those tracks will come in handy. Okay, from here we're gonna go on to the next one. And on to the next one. And the next, which I still need to make a little longer, or it won't work. To the next. And then to the next. Please tell me this works now. I need you to delete that. It still doesn't work. Why does it not work? Hmm. Um, cancel the building tool, terminals, uh -huh. uh This would be terminal number three. There. Fixed it. Moving from there to there without a problem. Good, I need you to switch to terminal one. Perfect, now it works without any further hiccups, I hope. But that remains to be seen. 13, or none out of 13, two out of 13. Hasn't made any money so far, to be expected, really. Twelve people there? Really? 13? Let's see how this sorting thing is going to go at the end. One, two, three, four. Done. Holding, slowing, dropped off a couple of passengers. And the rest seem to want to move on to Lafayette. Fair enough. Okay, not too bad a start. I'm going to leave the episode here. And again, I would invite you to become either a city name or to lend your name to a train line. So uh, that line that I've just set up to Lafayette to Cincinnati through Indianapolis, that could be your line. You could do that by becoming a Patreon. Link in the description down below. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this new series and that we're going to connect most of these places and turn Indianapolis from the tiny town that it is now at 116 all the way up to, as far as I'm concerned, several thousand. That's going to take quite a few episodes. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more.